Hello viewers, welcome to this video lecture series on analysis and design of algorithm. This session is in continuation with the previous one. Previous session is about the horsepool algorithm. There in that session I have explained you the working of the horsepool algorithm with an example. And there in the example I had shown you how to construct the shift table and also how to search the pattern in the given text. Algorithm for shift table I have explained in detail. Now the algorithm for horse pull matching I need to explain. So the same thing I will be doing it in this session. Now this is the algorithm for the horse pull matching. You are going to first call the shift table. See without using the shift table it is not possible to complete the job. So first thing is shift table. Then here i is pointing to m minus 1. In this case m is always the length of the pattern. So our pattern which I had discussed in the previous session is India. So the I value, uh, the length of the pattern here is M equal to how many letters are there? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So M minus 1 is how much? 4. So I is initially pointing to 4. 4 in the text. So initially I is pointing here. So this is what is the first statement in the algorithm. First after shift table this is the first statement I is pointing to 4. Now I value is 4. The algorithm says that while i less than or equal to n minus 1, n is how much here? The number of letters in the entire text. Entire text we have how many letters? 0 to 22. That means 23. n value is 23 in our example. So i less than or equal to n minus 1. F as long as i value that is 4, your starting value is 4 as long as 4 is less than or equal to 22 you carry out these steps what is the first step here initialize k equal to 0 so we are initializing k equal to 0 and next what we are doing is we are trying to use the while statement here while k less than or equal to m minus 1 and p m minus 1 minus k and t of i minus k so the same while loop i will write here So it says that k value initially is 0, 0, whether 0 is less than m value is 5, 5 minus 1, 4, 0 is less than or equal to 4, yes it is true and p of that it means you are referring the character in the pattern m minus 1 minus k initial value of k is 0. So when you substitute here k equal to 0, m minus 1 minus 0, 1 you are referring to what the letter p of 4 and text t of i minus k, k is 0, i is 4, so it is 4 and t of 4 and t of 4 is what the text now since we are in the beginning of the pattern our i value is pointing to 4 so here is your p of 4 fine p of 4 and v is your t of 4 it is trying to match no v is not matching with a it will come out from the while loop and in the while once it comes out from the while loop this statement if k equal to m is executed k value is 0 m value is 5 it is not true so the else part will come it will come to this else part in the else part you are writing increment the i value with what the value that is present for that letter which letter now our letter is v because v did not get matched with a what is the value for the letter v in the table in the shift table you that value you add to the existing value of i so existing value of i is how much existing value of i is 4 and for the letter v in the shift table the value is 5 so i the new value will be what i plus table of y 4 plus 5 so our new value is now 9 so now i is pointing to 9 here why it started pointing to 9 is because the value for the letter v was 5 you shifted this pattern by 5 positions from here 1 2 3 4 5 so once you shift here then once again the letter a will point to what the index value 9 here of the table that is why the current value for i is now 9 once again it will enter into the while loop and in the while loop you are going to start with k equal to 0 k is always keeping track of the letters that are getting matched with the pattern so initial value is 0 so next time once again we will take yes 0 is less than 4 and now your k uh, p value is how much 4 so you are point you are you are pointing here p of 4 find this a p of 4 and t of, now t value will be how much because new value for i is now 9 9 minus 0 t of 9 
so this is your t of 9 t of 9 is a space character here it is trying to match with the letter a there is no match found if there is no match found this will not happen k equal to m will also get failed next it will come to the else part in the else part it will try to shift the value for the space character the value for the space is 5 so it will get shifted by 5 positions so your new value for i will be how much now 9 plus 5 9 plus 5 will be what 14 so it is pointing here to this i value is pointing now to 14 once it is pointing to 14 this is your p of 4 now whether p of 4 and t of i of k i is your 14 now 14 minus of 0 is 14 so text of 14 so this one t letter t and a are trying to get match no there is no match found if there is no match found it will come out from the while loop if it comes out from the while loop it has to execute this else part here current value of i is 14 the letter is t so for the letter t in that shift table it is 5 so it will get shifted by 5 positions and now once it gets shifted by 5 position here this one will be the position here 19 okay it is pointing to what location number 19 so i value becomes now 14 plus 5 i value is 19 it will enter into the while loop 0 less than or equal to 4 true and now your p of 4 is here see this is your p of 4 okay <coughs> and t of your i value is now 19 no 19 minus of 0 it is 19 a here is trying to get matched with n no it is not true then if it is not true you shift it the else part in the pseudo code will get executed the value for n in the shift table is 3 here so it will get shifted by 3 positions so now you were here earlier it will get shifted by 3 1 2 3 i n d i a the moment it get shifted here once again you see it is pointing now the last location in the text okay in the indexing so i value become 22 now so it is getting shifted by three positions so i value is 22 now if i value is 22 now we'll run the while loop fine we'll run the while loop zero less than or equal to 4 and p of 4 because k value is still zero so zero my 5 minus 1 minus 0 p of 4 only and t of now i value is 22 this is your i value so it is point now t of 22 t of 22 is a now you can see a trying to get matched with a yes it is true if it is true increment the value of as per the algorithm what it has to do increment the value of k by 1 now k value become 1 so here your while loop became true so i'll just shift it here now k value became 1 now now for a value of k equal to 1 this while loop will get executed 1 is less than or equal to 4 yes it is true and now k value is 1 p of m minus 1 minus 1 so it will be how much 5 minus 2 p of 3 and text of what i value is how much now 22 22 and k so i value 22 and k value equal to 1 your t value will become how much t of 22 minus of 1 21 now you are trying to match p of 3 and t of 21 t of 21 is this p of 3 is this yes there is a match found if there is a match found then increment the value for k k k becomes to 2 less than or equal to 4 yes and now k in this place you are substituting k equal to 2 m minus 3 will be what p of 2 and t of and k is 2 now so i value is how much 22 k value equal to 2 2 less than or equal to 4 true and p of 2 and t of 20 so this p of 2 and t of 20 is getting matched so your t of 20 is here and p of 2 is here d is your p of 2 okay and t of 20 is d yes it is true if it is true increment the value for k by 1 k becomes 3 now 
i is 22 3 less than or equal to 4 yes it is true and now your k value is 3 so substitute here 3 m minus 1 minus 3 you will get 1 p of 1 and substitute here k equal to 3 22 minus 3 t of 19 so you are trying to match p of 1 and t of 19 p of 1 is here 90 n and t of 19 is here which is n yes yes n and n get matches increment the value of k by 1 k becomes 4 and for i value of 22 only Four less than or equal to four yes it is true substitute the value for k equal to four in this while loop so k is four five minus one minus of four p of zero twenty two minus of four eighteen now you are trying to match p of zero and t of eighteen p of zero p of zero is your i and t of eighteen is your i yes i and i matches increment the value for k k equal to 5 now for i equal to 22 only 5 less than or equal to 4 no 5 is greater than 4 so the condition for the while loop becomes false when the condition for the while loop becomes false the control will come over to this if statement it will check what is the value for k we got present value for k is 5 and our m value is 5 so so k value is 5 and m value is 5 if k equal to m that means now 5 equal to 5 return i minus m plus 1 i minus m plus 1 what is the current value of i current value of i is 22 22 minus m value is 5 plus 1 22 minus 4 is 18 so now it is going to return what this value 18 why because your pattern india is found here at location number 18 it starts from it is always going to return the location number where the first character of the pattern is present so this is what in our example it is present at the location number 18 so it is going to return the value for it so 18 is the value that is returned by the algorithm which is the location number where the first character of the pattern is present the time complexity of this algorithm is t of n equal to big o of m into n where m is the length of the pattern and n is the length of the string this is how i have explained you the tracing for this algorithm hope you find this session helpful please like share and subscribe to my channel thank you bye bye and take care